What's up everybody? Um, I'm back with a kind of like a review video today or a how-to. I don't know. One of those. But anyway, I'm going to be, yeah, it's a how-to. Showing you how to use a wireless keyboard. Well, technically a wireless slash wired keyboard because it uses this wireless transmitter to use the keyboard. But the keyboard itself is wireless. But anyway, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this uh, with your iPad 2 or iPad 1 using the camera connection kit um, USB uh, port excuse me so now this is really really awesome because pretty much everything works on it as it would a normal computer but there are some buttons on this that won't work which is kind of disappointing but oh well but anyway I'll give you guys a demo of this real quick. So let's go into notes. Let's go tap a new note. Okay. Now you can see no keyboard popped up, of course, like normal because you're using a keyboard. And just to point out, when you first plug something like this in, it will say it's not supported, but just tap OK and you can go ahead and keep using it, which is good. So you can see I'm typing. Let me back out here. All right, typing random letters. You can see up here. It's typing as I'm typing on the keyboard. So yeah, there's this, and then you can also you can't copy and paste, but you can highlight stuff. So like using the arrow keys, you can go back without backspacing you can hold shift and go and highlight it and then you can hit the backspace button right there and delete that part of the sentence so this will actually be excuse me uh be really useful in the pages app the apple's version of word doc for like business and school or whatever pretty good um, now I want to show you some cool things that you can do with this type of keyboard if it has the button on it um, you can use mute so if I hit mute it will mute the iPad and then if you hit it again it'll put the sound back and then these controls here will work the only one that won't is the stop button since there's no need for it so the volume up and down it'll you can put the volume up and down I'm not touching the iPad at all and you can play and pause your music or movie. There you go. It's playing. And hit it again, and it'll stop. And then hit play again. Then you can hit the skip track right here, fast forward and rewind. And play through different songs. Pretty cool. So, now... As I said earlier, these buttons here will not work. Uh, the documents, pictures, and music. Those are for computer only. Same with media, mail, and messenger. But right here you can see home. This will act as the iPad's home button. So you hit it and bring it back to the home menu. You double tap it. Oops. I only hit it once. Okay, double tap. It will bring up your multitasking bar. Hit it again and it brings it down. So that's another cool feature. Now another kind of cool thing is well actually it's not really all that cool I guess <laughs> but you can use the number pad over here. Let me go back into notes. Okay yeah you can use the number pad type numbers, whatever. And then every symbol on the keyboard, you can hold shift and hit like an explanation mark. It'll put the explanation mark. So all of these symbols, the money sign, the percent, and the ampersand, plus, minus, equal, whatever. It'll all work. So let me go ahead. And if you hit enter, it will space down. You can hit 
caps lock, everything will be uppercase, just like normal. And you can also hit the tab button, which it will tab the cursor symbol thing across the, the screen. So, that's pretty much all. You can't copy and paste by using uh, control C or control V to paste. That's too bad, but oh well. And you cannot use control P and stuff to print uh, from the keyboard as well. So you have to do all that from the screen, of course. But anyway, let's go ahead and go back to the home screen. Um, I suggest getting a keyboard similar to this. If you're gonna use your iPad for like business or your main computer or something, because it will help you out. It's easier to type on than the on-screen keyboard, even though it's kind of Steve. Yeah, excuse me, Steve Jobs said it's a dream to type on, even though it's kind of it's really sensitive and it's not easy to put your hands on. So I suggest getting this or. Oh, and another thing to point out is this is by Microsoft, which is odd that it, this actually works. So, that is very kind of funny. <laughs> but anyway, I rec recommend getting a keyboard similar to this one, or just getting the Apple, either Apple USB keyboard or the Apple Bluetooth wireless keyboard. Either of those will work. So, but this one's cheaper, and it works great, so... I do not know the price, so sorry about that, and I don't under I don't really know where I got it because I've had this keyboard for kind of about six years, so can't really give any information on that. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Thumbs it up, subscribe, rate, comment. I don't even think rating exists anymore, but thumbs up the video, and peace till next time.